Welcome, Val Landy here, your host for today's Galaxy Report. The sublime beauty and danger of physics is that sometimes things exist that we can never see, which led scientists to ask, was an unknown object, perhaps a cosmic string, weird one-dimensional defects in space-time that should be out there somewhere, detected at the Milky Way's Galactic Center in 2016? If yes, it could have profound implications for our, our understanding of gravity, space-time, and the universe itself. These galaxy-sized filaments of raw energy may be threaded through space-time, stretching from one end of, of the observable universe to the other. And as the universe grows, the strings grow right along with it, because they are part of the underlying fabric of space. So as space-time expands, so do the strings. At the Big Bang, our universe exploded into being expanded at a fantastic speed and cooled, perhaps cracking the fabric of the universe with light years long airline fractures. These cosmic strings, seen mathematically as invisible threads of pure energy, are thinner than an atom. The colossal amount of energy they contain would also make them extremely heavy. A few centimeters might weigh as much as Mount Everest. However, the strings might have been formed with too low an energy to give off any detectable signals, or possibly, these ancient cosmic strings radiated away their energy and faded to nothingness too quickly after the Big Bang to have left a lasting impression, reports Cathal O'Connell for Cosmos.com. As time capsules of the early universe, these vanishingly thin intergalactic filaments should retain fantastic energies, more than a billion times greater than those released by smashing particles at the Large Hadron, Hadron Collider, says Ken Olam, a theoretical physicist at Tufts University. You can't build an accelerator to test physics at that scale, he says. Olam's research is the study of cosmic springs in specific, with specific observable effects such as gravitational waves that might enable us to detect the elusive strings if they exist. The possibility that the discovery of a snake-like object lurking in the chaotic center of the Milky Way near its supermassive black hole could be a cosmic string would provide the first evidence for a highly speculative theory with profound implications for understanding gravity, space-time, and the universe itself. Cosmic strings are theoretical one-dimensional loops thought to have formed with when regions of space-time with different properties contacted each other during the very early stages of the universe. They are thought to be as thin as a proton, but with extremely high density. As such, they have very high gravitational forces and can act as gravitational lenses, producing the double images of galaxies. It may be possible to discover cosmic strings by looking for pairs of identical galaxies. British field theorist Tom Kibble, who died in 2016, created the idea of cosmic strings in 1976. He was musing, writes O'Connell, about the first split second after the Big Bang, when the universe underwent a rapid expansion and then cooled rapidly. This, Kibble suggested, caused a phase change in the quantum fields like water freezing to ice. Kibble conjectured that the quantum phase changes in the early universe would have caused fields to align in different orientations and again, causing cracks in the universe, the cosmic strings. Kibble predicted the existence of a fundamental particle that imparts mass to all others, now known as the Higgs boson, a discovery that in 2012 won the Nobel Prize. Kibble spent much of his later career contemplating how, after the Big Bang, the universe cooled and went through successive phase transitions when a medium changes form, such as liquid freezing into a solid. Cosmic strings, he thought, would only appear at the edges of vast regions about as big as the observable universe itself. So, was a cosmic string actually discovered? Fast forward to 2016, an astronomer at Northwestern University reported the discovery of an unusual filament near the center of the Milky Way using the National Science Foundation's very large array in New Mexico. The filament is about 2.3 light years long and curves around to point at the Milky Way's supermassive black hole called Sagittarius A, located at the galactic center. Another team of astronomers employed a pioneering technique to produce the highest quality image yet obtained of this mysterious curved object. With our improved image, we can now know this filament to be much closer to the galaxy's central black hole, and it's now close enough to indicate to us that it must originate there, said Mark Morris of UCLA, 
who led the research and uses radio, infrared, and X-ray observatories to study the galactic center. The team had three main explanations for the filament. The first is that it's caused by high-speed particles kicked away from the supermassive black hole. A spinning black hole coupled with gas spiraling inwards can produce a rotating vertical tower of magnetic field that approaches or even threads the event horizon to the point of, the point of no return for infalling matter. Within this tower, particles could be sped up and produce radio emissions as they spiral around the magnetic field lines and stream away from the black hole. The second, more fantastic possibility is that the filament is a cosmic string. The theoretical is jet undetected objects that carry mass and electric currents. Previously, theorists had predicted that cosmic strings, if they exist, would migrate to the centers of galaxies. And if the str string moves close enough to the central black hole, it might be captured once a portion of the string crosses the event horizon. The final option is that the position and direction of the filament aligning with the black hole are merely coincidental superpositions, and that there is no real association between the two. However, such a coincidence is highly unlikely to happen by chance. With the dawn of the era of gravitational wave astronomy, we may finally be able to test the existence of cosmic strings. Gravitational wave detectors such as LIGO and Virgo might be able to hear the high-pitched thrums and snaps created as the strings whip through space. As a cosmic string loops and wiggles and bounces, some parts of it would be whipped up to the speed of light and emit a burst of gravitational waves. Such a burst might be detectable by LIGO, but the difficulty in detecting the crack is that it would only be emitted at a particular, in a particular direction, like the beam of a flashlight. LIGO would have to be right in the path of the beam to see it and observe it and document it. For some physicists, like Columbia University's Peter White, a theory that cannot be tested is not even wrong. Viewing cosmic strings is in the same category, he says, as the string theory at the other extreme of the size scale. String theory invokes vibrating strings tinier than any subatomic particles as the building blocks of the universe. Cosmic strings sit on the shelf alongside many other beautiful ideas that could complete our understanding of the cosmos, but currently lack empirical support. Val Landy signing off. Please subscribe to the Galaxy Report today and visit us at patreon.com. Your support is appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.